Okay, we're here at uh, Broadmeadows Town Hall and this is a fantastic project that um, students from Mountain Public Space at RMIT have undertaken. They're in their, coming to the end of their first semester and they were given this space as a site-specific space to respond to and they've all chosen really entirely different things and produced some really beautiful works that address all aspects of this building, the people that have occupied it over time, the architecture itself and even the space of Broadmeadows as an urban space and how that's developed, especially in relation to migration to this space from other places. I think people um, are really quite interested in how each of these students has uh, responded to the works. Uh, for example, we've just been in the kitchen where there's some beautiful little miniature um, bronzed teacups uh, which is uh, one of our students who's an international student from the UK has produced each of them representing people that she's left behind in her life and I think that that's probably something that resonates really strongly with a lot of people who live in Broadmeadows in particular there's a high migration uh, level and so people are leaving things and leaving people behind and I think that work has really resonated well as have many many others here. My background's in sort of textile design, so the way I see spaces is always all the patterns that make up a space. The hall had a really strong image of what it is about, and there are always like architectural gestures that say, we are here, we've made this, but it's also really dated. And there's also these portraits of the mayors just over across from my work, and they're all wearing very serious mayoral robes. Looking at those two ideas, I wanted to create a robe which draws on the current state of the hall but also its history and then include a performative part of it and allow people to try on that robe tonight and be the broadie mayor for the night and take their portrait. The works that I did for Civic Heart are uh, six stencils. Uh, they're all based around current residents of Broadmeadows. It's inspired by, I guess, the initial conception and vision behind the constructions of the town hall. Um, it seemed to me like it, w it wasn't just going to be a town hall, it was going to be a place that the community could use as a hub, a central sort of place to meet, but not just that, host events, cultural, social events, and also be a place for generations to do the same thing. After get getting to know them, getting to find out their history and their story, and um, just touching base on a sort of personal social level, I was really touched by how warm and friendly they were and um, it really helped me sort of understand the community better as a, as a whole and the people that live within it, which basically contributed to the artworks that you see behind me. My name is Aslam Akram. I am a graphic designer. Everybody try to do something beauty in their home. Me too, I want to do something good for my home, this city. And today I see this. <laughs> the work is fantastic. Not only my portrait and other too. This is the um, projectionist's room in here, and it's, it's Jeff working with images that he collected during the 1960s Broadmeadows. In terms of projection of film, it does have a lot of this uh, ideas of haunted memory. Because this has been underutilised, this building for, for, I'm not sure, 20 years or so, I'm trying to help the audience imagine what this place would have been like in its heyday. They'd been looking at what had existed in Broadmeadows prior 
to white civilization came in and how Broadmeadows has the name Broadmeadows obviously exist was once just full of meadows that's where the name originated so I took photo images from what I found online and as well as my own photographs and I take them to create patterns and then we layer them and then use light to try and create shadows and hang them at different angles and levels so it's trying to create a shadow of what was once here. What I've called this white to the right. It is woven out of paper. There are eight squares on each side, which is the same as a chessboard. Chess is a game of strategy. We all occupy a space, we have to share the space that we live in. What strategies we choose to, to use within those spaces is up to us. It's not precious, it's designed to be walked on. It's also a map that uh, reveals through time and your activity within the space which way you travel through that space, how you travel through that space. And that's pretty much it, complex in its simplicity. <laughs> <laughs>